Guys, welcome back to Weapon Blocks in Caesar 3 on Damascus. And in the previous two parts, we've gotten our city relatively evolved. But this time, we're going up to max level housing. We have drawn Frostmourne as a giant sword, so we're gonna see if we can populate that. But besides that, things are going very, very well. So let's go ahead and jump into the city and see how we can get things going. All right, so here we are in the city. We've got our hammer, sword, shield, kind of a hook. Uh, everything evolved and balanced quite nicely. Exports are still going well. Uh, looking at our net in out, it's pretty okay. Guys, we're not, we're not taxing people. <laughs> I did not even realize that we were not even taxing people. Guys, 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 I'm a bit silly. I built forums. I just, I just wasn't, I, I wasn't taxing. Look, we've got 6,000 in the bank, we're okay. <laughs> anyway, we've got this bow and arrow block as well, which is doing very nicely, actually. Um, I'm not sure if I could make this run any better. Probably, maybe if I just evolve it a bit. What do they need? Furniture, I think. Uh, we're currently not, yeah, we need to boost up our population. So I think with our current unemployment, I'm going to try access this farming land here. Let me slow the game down. Let me look at um, risks and native and see if I can uh, get this in any way solved. I think if I break this road connection to make sure we solve that problem. And uh, hmm. ah, this is a little tricky. I think if I put down a mission post here, how do I... I need to try and make this as efficient as possible. Alright, so I'm gonna probably just have a road to uh, sort of... Yeah, let's see if we can actually clear off all three of these. I'm gonna clear these trees to make room for farmland. Yeah, this is gonna be a good spot for farmland. I'm just gonna make it easy to work with. There we go. Make it, I'm gonna keep it looking a bit natural. Okay. And we're gonna need a road going out this way and going straight through to that house there and see if we can keep these three houses happy with a single mission post. That would be ideal. I'll just clean up this road here, clean up that road there. And if I put the mission post here, that should cover those three houses, right? I also need to sort of sort out this. So I think I kind of need a road hooking up these two and have a mission post here. That should cover it, I think. Let's check how they spawn. These things do take employees, by the way. If you open this up, it doesn't say so. But if you check here, it's I, th I think it's 20 people each. Anyway, risks, native. Do we cover all these houses? Oh, come on. Really? At least that covers it. Is it? Oh, that's so annoying. Really? Does that mean I have to place one here instead? Yeah, let's, let's place one there instead, and maybe we can, uh... Don't waste time. Walk around properly. Risks, native. Okay, so at least we clear off this area for some farmland. You know, I probably do need all of this to maximize farmland. Okay. So, we should be able to get that going at least. Now, how do I... How do I actually develop this block? Now, if we put farms here, we kind of need the food to come down a little bit down this way. All of these intersections does make it a little bit difficult, but not, uh, not the hardest. If I just fill up the center of this, we'll leave those runes there, so it's fine. And I fill up this side as well. That could work quite nicely. If I garden up the middle, that actually looks pretty decent. Okay, and then we can just spam prefectures, I think. 
we're gonna need a lot of them. Like six. Okay. Then quite a few, not as many, but some engineers posts. Oh, Tarsus will buy, will sell more pottery, is it? 40 units. Guys, that does actually help a lot. Are we still importing pottery? We are, right? We, we are. Yeah. There's actually plenty of pottery going around, I think. Where's the pottery? That's there. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Furniture is still looking good as well. 65 pottery a year is good. Hmm. Aren't your gardens in the center of that frost one sword creating a partial road connection? Mm, 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 mm. Good catch. We can't have one there. But we will. Let's plaza up the blade of Frostmoor. Plaza it up. Bam. You know, let's get all these fringes as well. Looks nice. Not very functional, but it looks nice. You know, I'm still terrified of things burning down. I'm gonna have another couple extra prefectures. Eight prefectures, four engineers posts. All right, then we need, uh, let me just check risks here. Are we keeping things okay? Okay. So then, I do need to figure out how I'm gonna get these farms online. Vegetables, fruits, olives. What are we feeding our people here? Vegetables there, fruits here. You know, Frostmourne can be fed with pigs. And how am I gonna maximize... I think I do need to cut down those trees. Yeah, then we're gonna have... some farms like this. What's the range of this? It's quite far, actually. How many farms do we need for this? How many farms do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Nine farms is very much what happened here. Yeah. Some entertainment, but not enough. We don't actually have an amphitheater here. Wait. Entertainment, amphitheater. There should be plenty of entertainment. Theater. Yeah, they have theater and amphitheater access. Wait. Yeah. What? Slicks, thank you so much for subscribing with Twitch Prime. I'm currently confused about these large casas. And that's gonna... Okay. Wait. No, no, we do have an amphitheater. And why is it a uh, culture rating? Maybe it's an overall culture rating problem. Maybe if I've got more working theaters, that will keep them a bit happier. You know, maybe. But yeah, the total population went up. We're above 4,000, so it could be... There we go, there we go, look. We got more working theatres. And then they all just re-evolved. Because that's now above average. Okay. That was a bit scary. I don't know why these didn't devolve, though. No gladiators? No, no, there should be gladiators. There's a gladiator school there. There's no gladiators here, though, which is a good point. Which I can solve by... Wait, do I not really not have any gladiator school here? Huh. Oh, for now. Do that. Okay. That was a bit weird. Okay. Anyway, Frostmon is... Uh... Habited. <laughs> um, wait, why aren't... Why aren't there flags on these prefectures? Wait, what, what's going on with the game right now? 
you, you see that, right? There's no flags on these prefectures. Or the engineer's post, but they are functioning. Okay, well, that, that's a bit glitchy. That's a bit glitchy. <laughs> that's confusing, but functional. Okay, we'll, we'll work with it. We'll work with it. Anyway, um, what's the limit on farms here? That far? Okay. So if we have like a farm here, we're probably going to need a decent number of farms. That's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight should be good. And if I hook these up by road, that'll be good. We're just gonna have a feeder house here. And prefecture and an engineer's post there. And... You know, the gatehouse can hook right up to the end of this. Which is uh, not the most aesthetic thing, but we're gonna work with it, just for now. I don't, well, maybe forever. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and we actually want the road to do that, so we can hook this up, and then we can actually have prefecture and engineer's post set up on this side, and then we can have a granary set right here, set to accepting meat. And then we're gonna need... That actually should be fine, right? I just, uh... Let's have the granary a little closer, actually. Let's have the granary there. Clear this road. Is that employees needed? No, that's a distant battle. Do we not need employees? No, we still have unemployment. That's pretty good. Um, once these farms start working, that, that's going to be a problem. We'll, we'll put the granary here. So we can actually have uh, some markets just get straight from that granary. We, we won't feed the hilt or the handle of the sword quite yet. Hmm. Apparently you have to restart your computer to get these flags back. That's kind of annoying. Why? Oh, oh well. Anyway, let's let's try get this fed. This is probably gonna take us over into needing employees. Let's go ahead and stick a reservoir over there. Let's get a reservoir coming through this. I'm gonna just cut through this forest. Because I do like the aesthetic of... Um, aqueducts. Oh, okay. We're under attack. Uh, let's just put that there. From here, okay. Let's get our soldiers as quickly as possible to where they need to be. Okay, did one flag not appear? That's always... No. Is it this one? Get that. Okay. And you guys... Pull up too. Okay. Good thing I have a wall set up. Uh, now, I was putting this aqueduct down. And I'm just gonna go the long way. Okay. Now we can get some water to frost more. Pigs produce slow and arid climates. Yeah, we'll see if it works. <laughs> we'll see if it works. Now, let's deal with this little invasion. How are the gods feeling, by the way? Displeased? Mars is exalted, but... No, I don't wanna... Why is there no water coming into this reservoir? Are fountains gonna work if I... these 
Okay, this is a bit annoying. I think I might have to restart my computer because that's that's looking annoying. But let's let's deal with with this first. Yeah. Why are you facing the wrong way? Okay. Um, the fountains need to just sort of go all along here. I think. Oh really? We're like. We need to shift this two tiles forward. You know if I just... Oh, well, let's deal with this invasion, yeah. <laughs> now, this is not ideal, because we're going to be charging into them. Let's just charge into them, you know? Now, this... Yeah, we do need to move this two tiles forward. What? Too close to enemy troops? Oh, come on. Alright, just go kill them, please. Stop. Don't let them through, please. Come on, please. Please don't. Don't let them through. Okay, this was so horribly inefficient. That was so bad. Okay. Did we lose most of our javelins? <laughs> yes. Oh, totally. It's okay. You guys all ran on back. Now can I put this reservoir down? Come on, come on. I want to water this this block here. Why don't you turn to fort? Okay. Ah, there we go. Put that up. Are we killing more zebra? Okay, but now we can just go ahead and some fountains along here. That should... Does that cover everything? Looks good. Okay. Well, it doesn't look good because the animations are broken. <laughs> Alright, let's rebuild our wall here. Okay. So, Frostmourne has been set down. We are short by 87 employees. To mitigate some of this, I can probably take out a couple of farms here because we are definitely overproducing food on this side. Um, are we overproducing food here? We are actually a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to take out... Is this a fruit farm? That's a fruit farm. Let's clear that off. Let's deal with the immediate problems. People are going to be moving in. We just knocked off 40 re uh, people required. And uh, meat is coming in, so we can go ahead and drop a market there and a market there. Two markets, you know, we might need another market. Three markets is probably a good idea. You know, we might need more markets than that. Maybe four markets for stability, you know? Let them get all the meat first, yeah. That, that should be okay. Four markets should be able to uh, stabilize this. <laughs> Placebo water, says lines. Imaginary water. <laughs> yeah, they just think they're drinking water. Actually, they're all hallucinating. Um, there's actually no water whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But look at that. Uh, pigs seem to do okay. I don't, uh, you guys said uh, meat and pigs do worse in arid climates. Probably. But I think we're going to do okay. Yeah. Yes, look at all the market ladies. The granary's already full, so that's good. Let's just get these... Oh, we don't have any temples here. That's a good point. Um, let's, uh, let's drop some temples. Series. Um, you know, we have all these little roads sticking out everywhere. Neptune. Mercury. Mars. This, this is all really quite terrible, but... And Venus. <laughs> oh, th this road pattern is so hard to work with. But we'll make it work. We will make this work. Don't you worry. Venus. There we go. Uh, we probably need a couple... We might need a few schools, actually. Let's put down a school there. And a school there. A couple schools. Get things going. Yeah, looks like food is coming on down. The first feeding is always a little tricky. But these need entertainment. Right, so we can use some Destination Walker on this one. Uh, I'm going to put a theater here and here. And if we have the actor colony, 
up here. The actor will have to walk down the two roads passing by all of these houses. I'm not sure if it'll quite... No, it should be okay. Um, yeah, the actor colony will walk down this way. Or the actor will walk down this way, passing all the houses required. It's fantastic. It's brilliant. Wonderful. Uh, I think I have too many temples on that side. I'm going to move the temple to Venus to over here. Is that a road connection? Yes. Okay. So there's two temples on this side, three temples on that side, and look at that, we have up to small casas. This went very, very well. Look at that. You know, we could probably do with a couple more pig farms. And get those going. All right. That was smoother than expected. All right, so now I'm gonna probably have to save the game and uh, quit and restart my computer or something to get these broken animations back because this is this is getting very confusing for my visual communication. All right, so let, let's go fix that problem and hopefully we can fix it. All right, and we're back now and it seems like restarting the computer did fix the graphical glitches and also there's something interesting going on here if you don't notice. The immigrants are walking around here and back into the back of these houses to get to them. Uh, and apparently, I've been told that because there are roads touching these houses on the northern side, it prioritizes that as their entrance. So, for example, what I have experienced before is if I go ahead and build something here, blocking this path into the center of Frostmourne, immigrants won't be able to reach these houses and immigrants will actually stop moving into the city. Apparently that's, that, that happens. Anyway, uh, we are going along quite nicely here. We've got taxes going, unemployment of 1%. Now I need to work on this palatial pistol. So let me slow the game down. And we don't have nearly enough unemployment to do something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use up a bit of the farmland here. I'm going to use up a bit of land right around here. Make some space, make it look natural. And we're going to have a road sort of coming along here into kind of a very simplified trident. A road coming up. And we're gonna have a road going through the middle there. And we're gonna have like maybe a gap of three. And a road coming up here. I suppose, I don't know, are tridents even or is one side longer? I'm not too sure. And then we're gonna have a road do that. So it's a very simple sort of pitchfork trident thing. And we're going to use this to boost our population. Is this correct? Like maybe send this a bit longer maybe? You know, up to like there and have the middle one. Uh, I suppose that's a little long. We'll shorten it by one. There we go. That looks nice. Now we will just go ahead and... How do I want to do this? Just have a row of houses here, I think. And a row of houses here. And we're not quite there, actually. Not quite there. Because we're going to have a granary right here into using up this farmland. Because we've got to use some of this farmland, right? Because it's just, it's just not, it's not quite going according to plan. <laughs> So we're going to have a granary there, and we're just going to have a house right there. And yeah, the granary can go right there. And we'll wait for some people to move on over. Meanwhile, this block here could do with some evolution. Pottery is already available here. Now, hmm. What can we do to uh, boost this? Um, we're going to need a gladiator school, I think. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm gonna make this road a little bit more efficient by moving the prefecture and engineer's post here. Making room over there for a 3x3 building. Do we need more farms? I think we might need more farms. Maybe not, maybe not. We're still sort of, you know, doing that. Granary is a four-way intersection. Yeah, I know. I know that. <laughs> oh wait, put the granary in the four-way intersection. You mean here? Oh, that's actually a much better idea, Blaster. I was confused with how you phrased it, but yeah, that actually makes way more sense. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, that's... 
That's nice. But that's nice. <laughs> I slightly misunderstood what you said. Anyway, um... Yeah, we need to get some pottery and stuff down here. We could probably put down amphitheaters. Now, I'm gonna try use up... Like, maybe... That tile there. And that tile there. Are we taxing these people? We are not taxing these people. You know, let's drop some forums. Ah, we can't put a building there because it will block things off. So I will just sort of leave a gap there. Just try and tax these people a little bit better. Oh, they don't have bathhouses. Right, I always forget bathhouses for some reason. Let's put a bathhouse there, bathhouse there. That does cover, right? Yeah. And uh, maybe a bathhouse here. And we'll probably need a reservoir just stuck right there. Okay, good, good. Now, oh, look at that. Those houses are evolving. Fantastic. Uh, houses reaching over here. Yes, okay, let's slow things down. Let's put down that granary. Oh, well, let's put down the other essentials first. I think I will... Let's go prefecture, engineers first. We'll try and be a little efficient with how we do this. Prefecture, Prefecture. Engineer's Post, Engineer's Post. And... Oh, we hit 5,000 people. Hmm. You know, we'll give these guys... A doctor, just one doctor. And then we can put the granary down there. And there will be houses there, so we'll just go ahead and put the prefecture and engineer's post right here. Yes, and I don't know if we'll ever be invaded from here, but just in case, I will just sort of wall this off. Right, just in case. And I guess I should wall up this way as well. Because we never know, we never know which way they would be coming from. Actually, all of this looks very risky as well. <laughs> uh, so I will just do this. I'm gonna shift the aqueduct away from the edge of the map because that's a little risky. Okay, 10 wine. I think we should still have a stockpile of that. Oh, not too much, actually. Only 18. Well, it is a new year. We probably sold a bunch. Okay. Shifted the aqueduct around. These guys are now getting small insulates. You know, is it possible to just produce some furniture right here? Yeah, I probably could. Or do I want it more central? Let's get rid of some of these... All these slums around the edge. We don't need that doctor either. You know... And also how the gods feeling. They're all displeased except for Mars. I do need to boost my... Weapons industry. A uh, uh, furniture industry a bit rather. No, I think for now I will just use this up. Do that, do that. And I'm gonna shift all of these temples over. And this should make our furniture industry much, much better. Workshop furniture. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Furniture. That will allow us to put down a warehouse right here set to getting furniture. So we can evolve these houses as well. Yes. Food seems to be doing okay. Now, these houses. Employees needed. Yeah, we need to evolve these houses. Maybe I overdid it on the furniture. Maybe we don't need quite that much. 
Did we lose people? Did someone devolve? Everything looks okay. Oh well. Um, what are we doing? Farms, right. We need to clear that off so we can now set this to accepting... What do we have? Probably make it fruits? Yeah, fruits. Because we've got vegetables there, meat there. Yes. Which reminds me, to prepare for the palatial pistol without having any sort of road connection to the pistol. We need some storage yards set to accepting the three types of food. Oh, that's... That intersection came back. Let's fix that. Bam. This is going to be set to accepting meat. I think we are generating a slight surplus, but I'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, to make sure we generate a surplus of vegetables. I think we already are, actually. And here, we wanted to go... Fruits. out of the way so we can do that Rome increased the cost the... I'm gonna just even this out and I'm gonna have a, a warehouse right there set to accepting fruit so we can have a surplus of that too good we'll just drop the market right there and we need another reservoir. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That covers all of that. Will it reach? I just need to, like... Fountain. Oh, really? That's the range? The building has collapsed. What was that? Temple to Neptune collapsed. Right, so... Hmm. Engineer's post right there, maybe, would work? I think we need to yeah, double up on a few things there. Oh right, I destroyed a bunch of temples. <laughs> okay, what's the current count? We need two for Neptune. And then... Yeah, okay. Small temple. Neptune. Here is here. I know. Put one back there for now. How's our shop by 55 employees? Okay, so we could probably boost our housing here. Okay, let's clear off some of these trees. Fountain. Gardens. Here or here. Okay, that should be good, right? Isn't wheat prioritized twice over everything? Yeah, but there's no wheat on this map, so that's a problem. Um, Les is saying, did I replace those temples? Yeah. Um, which reminds me, I need to put those back. We'll try be a little efficient. Let's go series. Neptune. Can I squeeze more temples around anywhere? Mercury. And Venus needs one more. Yeah, just go there. So we've brought in quite a few people, a few hundred people, but uh, it seems like. Yeah, because of all of these farms required so many employees. So that's been a problem. Anyway, fountain. One, two, three. I 
need to reach that. Increase the price of pottery, that sucks. Curse from Neptune, not a problem. Are they all just... Oh, I think every... Every god needs... We can't get marble on this map, that's, that's why, that's one of the pains of this map. We can't get marble. Why can I just... I guess I'll need some temples here, right? Let's go... Ceres. Neptune. Mercury, that looks good. Mars. And Venus. Looks good. Well, also, I just noticed this. Move Prefecture and Engineer's Post up this way. We can put a Doctor right there and might as well put the Barber before I forget. Right there. That's perfect. Look at that. That just works out so nicely. And one temple each there. That should try to get the gods a little bit happier. Now these houses here, are they... Ah, uh, desirability. You know, let's plaza up the trident. Plaza up the whole trident. That looks good. Give them a nice row of gardens right there. Give them a nice row of gardens right there. Now... Can I move this reservoir three tiles? It'll be right up there. That's kind of ugly, but... No, I'm just gonna do it. Come on. Okay. Yeah. So what do you guys need? Entertainment. Theater. Amphitheater. Actor Colony. Do we need this many farms? I don't know. Maybe. We'll get the actors going first. And then we're gonna need schools, so let's go. School, school. That should cover everything, yes. Market Lady seems to be feeding both spokes of the trident. Looking okay. Use the inside of my shield to put some temples on it, but then I'll need... It has access to housing, would you look at that? I just realized. Especially if I extend this road by one, it now is in range of that. I can actually, yeah, you guys are right. Gardens adjacent to granary, won't that mess up walkers? Not necessarily, no, 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 it's, it's okay. Because they, they don't have any reason to walk up there. That temple to Neptune will move. Put a warehouse right here. Set this to getting pottery and furniture. You know, just make sure you go get pottery first. Then we can start evolving these houses. Is this a desirability problem? The school children. Okay, so we got those up to small casas. How's our furniture supply? It is looking good, actually. So let me try get some furniture over here. Can I set this? Here's getting... You know, go get furniture as well. And I'll have another... Do I have two markets here? I do. Food is actually struggling a little bit, I guess. Iron mine collapse, no problem. And if I put a f another fruit farm here, that might help. And if I clear that tree... Can I put a fruit farm there? No. So I will put a warehouse here. Set to getting 
furniture. So this does not need to get furniture. You know, I can probably cut back on weapon production anyway. Okay, that's good. Those houses have moved in. Extra room for people. Immigrants are still coming in. How is our employment? 3% unemployment. Okay, but we're basically at our target population. I think we'll be getting a surplus of fruit soon. And I think I will just shift this road over like that. We don't need to cover that house at the end, so I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to extend this road. Maybe put another couple pig farms right here. That should get us the surplus meat that we require. And also, right, this wall right here. I wanted to shift this wall back a bit because it's just in a not a really that good a spot. But then with that amphitheater there, that is a problem. That's sort of the furthest back I can send it because of Frostmourne, which is a little tricky to deal with. Good thing we do have a lot of money. Gatehouse right there. And then I wanted to... Oh, might have to... break Frostmon a little bit here. Okay, no one will know. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, then I will have a couple of houses right there. I will use up the road here. We'll get some towers operational. Prefecture, engineer's post, Gatehouse right into Frostmourne to connect this road up to here. And I will temporarily move the barracks to this side so that we can get some people manning the towers. There we go. Tower. That should help defend us. <laughs> Harden says breaking Frostmourne, that's what Arthur said. <laughs> uh, goes a repost, maybe one of the sim simplifying Frostmourne is gatehousing between the housing and the blade and the pottery and the handle. I mean you could, but breaking off the pottery from the handle, that we don't really need to do that. And the gatehousing here is a little tricky because of how we want the design to work out, you know? It's a little tricky. But having these houses here is actually going to solve some problems with employment, so that's good. Um, so we sh yeah, we're going to get... I think we do need another vegetable farm. Maybe another two. Okay, that looks good. Some furniture is coming along. Oh, the natives are buying furniture out of this warehouse. That's so annoying. <laughs> oh, geez, where did all our furniture go? Maybe we still aren't producing enough furniture.
I hear towers, which is good. Let's boost our furniture production. So when it gets to a new year, furniture sales sort of become a problem. Why aren't these houses a problem? No health provisions. And the clinic never walks down that way? Wait, do I even have... Oh, there's a clinic. Okay, I see. So the clinic never walks down that side? Okay, so they do just need a supply of furniture. So there is furniture right here now. Okay, okay, we're killing a bunch of zebra. These towers seem to be coming online, which is good. Hmm. We're struggling keeping up with... Uh, with employment. Because we've expanded this area for a few reasons, but we still only have a couple percent unemployment. I'm gonna need to try and boost housing as much as possible. Let's try that. That is still covered by water, yes? Okay. These are desirability issues. Okay, furniture is coming on down there. I think we are overproducing food, so we can cut back on a fruit farm, I think. Are we way overproducing oil? I will cut back on oil production a little bit as well. That should get us some more unemployment. And these houses are now evolving as well to medium insulae. They should be able to get to large insulae, right? because an oil supply is here. And a library. Okay. Education library. Okay, so we'll start evolving these houses. Let me just double check our taxes. We are taxing people. Uh, looks like he's not really walking past things properly. Oh, we're not taxing over here. I'll move the temple to Venus there and move the forum here. That should tax people a little bit better. And also let's tax... Why do these houses? No access to local religious facilities. What is with these walkers? Farm, right at the end there. That should tax those houses. At least get some taxing going, yeah? Fruit is starting to surplus. Vegetable is starting to surplus. Meat is starting to surplus. Okay, now we've got it. Now we've got it. Wasn't there a sound of a tower shooting? Yes, it's killing the zebra. By the way, these towers are all online, and I think uh, we are allowed to put a single row of walls in front of these towers. So I'm gonna try do that. And I can now move the barracks. Where did I put it? Down here? Move the barracks back to where it was. There we go. So this side is now pretty defended. All of this looks good. Yep, yep. Okay, so now... Really? Uh, no? What is with these walkers? Ah, uh, how do I... How do I solve this issue? There's also no bathhouses. Okay, I'm gonna have to bust some things open. Bath there. I will have to destroy one house, I think. And I'm just gonna move Neptune up this way. Put the baths there. 
Let's hope the bats walk up this road. That will be useful if they can do that. Oh, no theaters. Actually, is it no gladiators? I think we can get rid of one fruit farm here, put down a gladiator school, see if that solves the issue. Uh, delete the garden connections you've created in the shield block in the inner road. Ah. <laughs> That's bad. Small statue right there. there. Now what are these? No access to a barber? Okay. Barber. These evolve too? Barber. Okay. Did we bring furniture here? Why aren't these houses evolving? No doctor or clinic? Doctor. Doctor. So there's no oil here, so we don't need a barber. Pottery's still looking okay. Furniture's still looking okay. I think a couple extra workshops did it there. These need... Alright, so we do actually need theatres here, I think. That should solve that. Right. Okay. And we can actually set this to getting furniture as well. Do they have doctor access? Yes. Okay. So now, with those houses evolving, we should be getting the unemployment we need. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Let me slow the game down. And I'm going to just... Save the game, right there. Okay? Okay. Hmm. Now, we've got to get these this palatial pistol going. So, we need a road sort of coming out of it allowing us to do what we need to do. So I'm gonna clear off this road here, just because it's sort of distracting having it there. That's fine. For aesthetics, I'll leave one there, okay. So then, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna clear those two off. I don't think we need that. And we are going to make this look like it's shooting a bullet. <laughs> so it stays generally as part of the the weapon design. So I'm gonna put a gatehouse right there, okay? Gatehouse is right there. We're gonna break that road connection right there. We're gonna have a road come out. Now what's the... If I just have it go in a straight line, would that actually work? That might actually work. If I clear off these trees, I'm gonna have a road go out in a straight line. All the way there. And I put a mission post right there to deal with the risk of natives. Yeah, that should work. And then I will need... Let's see. Three. Houses there. Good, good. Uh, I'll put... Oh wait. I'll shift it by one. So I can have... What's the risk here? Okay, that should solve that. Prefecture, prefecture. Engineer's post, engineer's post. And we'll wait for those houses to move in. Okay, that does, ooh, that, that was close. Okay, that should solve that. So now we have the gun shooting a bullet. <laughs> shooting right at the natives, you know? We have a gun shooting at the natives.
I should import wheat for your palatial estate. It will save at least 26 wood. Can we import wheat? Oh, we can. So we need three types of food. Hold on, let me check. So we've got fruits, vegetables, and meat. Fruits are actually the furthest away. So in actuality, we could import wheat and not use fruit. That's a good idea, Governor Julio. Which means I don't need to be stockpiling this at all. I can cut back on a couple of farms there. You said saves at least 26 workers. <laughs> you know how to count. <laughs> Two farms and the, the storage yard. So, okay, and plus then we're just getting vegetables from there. Okay, so we now need three granaries. Are people moving in here? I think they are. So we're gonna go one, two, yeah. One, two, three. This one is going to be getting wheat. This one is going to be getting vegetables. And this one is going to be getting meat. Wheat, vegetables, meat, no fruits. And then we're gonna have three warehouses here. Get out of the way, one, two, three. And we actually need two more. This one is going to be getting, or accepting wheat, actually. Let's accept wheat in this one. This one is going to be getting meat, because it's on the right side. And this one is going to be getting vegetables. Meanwhile, we'll have this one get the most common thing we need and the least common thing we need. So pottery and wine. Now it's going to need to get the most pottery. So to, to sort of even out how often the, the cart push is going out, we're doing pottery and wine in one. And then we'll do oil and uh, furniture in the other. Because pottery, we, we tend to need more pottery than anything else. Um, so we need to get that going first. Also to stabilize employment, I'm just gonna go ahead and put down another couple houses right there. That seems prudent, yeah? Yeah. Looks good? Looks good. I think so. I think so. I think this is gonna work out as intended, right? Now all of that stuff's working. We have 5% unemployment. So there's no oil here, so we don't have to worry about that. Did we get furniture? We got these up to small insulae, which is good. Are you getting furniture? Yes? Okay. Oh, we're under attack. Would it not be simpler to produce furniture right there. Yes, actually, but... Uh... I'll think about that. Let's deal with this invasion. Oh, it is from here. Okay, let's slow the game down. Try and get everyone out there in time. I wish there was a select all button, you know? you guys actually let's have you guys stand this way towers are doing their work oh look at that as soon as they spawn bam ooh ooh three dead immediately Okay. How are the gods feeling, by the way? Neptune is irritated. Why? You know, I'm gonna hold a festival to Neptune just so he's not so unhappy. Alright, alright. Tower's doing some work. Our javelins are reaching, but they're gonna start hitting the wall soon. This is a pretty big invasion. Alright, alright, some prefects coming to help out here. What's shooting? What is, what is that noise? 
Anyway, let's draw them over this way. So they stay away from our towers if possible. Are those the sounds of the camels? This is so many. Mat Neb Mat. Hmm. Oh, killing the caravan. That's a, <laughs> that's a bit brutal right there. You know, I'm gonna let the javelins take some hits here because they're cheap to replace. Here comes the uh, legionnaires. We're gonna move the javelins up here to start shooting the camels. Let's go wipe them out. Advance legions! Are they just gonna run away? Jeez, they just ran away. <laughs> ah, that went well. Did we lose many? We lost only some javelins in one group. Look at that. Fantastic. They saw the legions approaching. And they just fled. Wonderful. Are these houses devolved? This is a supply of pottery. I think I need a couple markets down this side. Okay, good. Anyway, we're starting to bring food over to this side. Right, import wheat. I forgot to set that. Import wheat, please. Uh, pottery is here. Why do they have so little? Let's put down a pottery workshop, just to boost things up a little bit. Yeah. Furniture is gone, jeez. Can I, can I stop selling furniture for a while? I need to just produce so much furniture. Can I boost that up a bit? I think we can spot a couple more workshops. Maybe. So these at least have become large insulates. These don't have library access. If I move this prefecture to there, that makes sense. I could then put a library right here to get those evolved. Those don't have health provision. I guess I'll put another doctor down. What's the 76 to... It's sort of worth it. <laughs> okay. Why aren't these evolving? Is it really the fort? I just garden up that? Did these houses evolve? Oh, it's just too close to the fort. Desirability does not hold that. Well, that's fine. We've got 6,300 people. We've got lots of food coming in here. We've got the wine, pottery, oil. Um, you know, I could have probably produced furniture here if uh, I left the trees, but I didn't leave the trees, so <laughs> it's fine. Uh, that should be good to go, you know? Let's go ahead and drop the markets. Bam, bam, double markets. By the way, can we import wine on this map? We can. Okay, so we can slowly convert these up. Uh, let's start taxing them before I forget. Oh, you know, just put the forum right there. As the houses evolve, it should be good. We don't have water here. Just realized. I think it should go right there. Okay. And then we need to get an aqueduct over. Wrapping round the pistol.
Pan. Have to build the aqueduct first. And just put a road gap right there. In case of anything, road gap right there. We've brought water down. Look at that, three granaries filling up here. Then we need to just place fountain, 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 fountain. Perfect. All right. There you go. There's some shrubs, trees next to the rocks across from the pistol. Could use those. You mean these? Yeah, but then... I don't know, how would I... It'll be tricky to, to work out. Are we getting enough furniture in here? I think we are. Jeez, this city uses so much furniture. Pottery is doing okay. Well, I suppose that's because we're producing and importing. Um, why aren't these markets taking food? We got all three types of food all set up there. Such a good idea not to use the, the fruit farms here. Why are you devolving? No supply of furniture. Do I need another market here? I think I need another market to stabilize this area. I'll leave it at four farms for now. Vegetable supply looks good. Meat supply looks good. Unless the storage yards um, fill up, or the warehouses fill up, then we know we're not really overproducing quite yet. Okay, are these houses entertainment? Okay, so we can now get those things going. We're gonna need an actor colony. We're gonna need a gladiator school. Let's go ahead and put down the theater and the amphitheater right at the ends of these roads. Theater. Amphitheater. Okay, we will need schools. Two schools should be good. Um, we will need a library. We will need baths. Which we can go... One... Two. Because this is not an efficient block, you kind of have to have, like, double up on things. But you know, actually, we probably don't need that. We might not need this school either. We can just make sure the school children run roughly the correct way. <laughs> maybe they will, maybe they won't. You never know with school children. Aldo64 said, Maybe worth considering Sajuk's suggestion of splitting off the blade of Frostmont with a gatehouse to make it a loop. Yeah, I know, but... Uh, what do you guys need? Bathhouse access. Oh, does it not reach that house? Oh, temporarily get that going. Once the houses become bigger, it's actually better. I should give oil to Frostmourne. Oiling a blade is always <laughs> a good idea. We're actually low on oil. How did that happen? Workshop. Oil. Farm. Olives. Oh, it's because we're consuming oil here, right? Right. evolved a little bit I ah, can't quite get that it's okay all right at least furniture is looking stable now these houses have reached medium insulate need a supply of oil surely the markets have that no oh there we go oil just arrived here just sell one unit of pottery into that?
Okay, oil is now in the markets. Let's get this going. I'm like, what else do you need? The markets have oil. No school? We do need two schools, it seems. We can't control it. That's a large insulae, not enough entertainment, which means we need to go Colosseum. Oh, right, this problem. Maybe if I do that, that, that makes a bit more sense. I'm leaving a gap so our troops can walk through there. Uh, the iron mine collapse, which, you know, I'm just gonna get rid of all my weapon production facilities. We don't need it. It's fine. That's gonna free up some employment. We still have 2% unemployment, but this Colosseum is not working. And remember, we have to work up to a Hippodrome here. Yeah? Uh, which reminds me, I do need a Lion House. Which can go there. And there's space for a Chariot Maker. Perfect, perfect. So all working out quite nicely. Is, uh... Well, that one tent is not... No market lady reaches there. Maybe if I move a... The house up this way instead. That might be a bit of a better bet. But there we go, we've got a grand insulae. I'm gonna put a fountain right here. Those gardens are messing things up. Fountain right there. And I'll just put small statues here. So we've got a grand insulae, need a supply of wine, which the markets don't have, but I'm sure we had some wine there just now, so the markets probably took it. Or did... Did they buy... Did the natives buy the wine off from from here? That's, that's a bit annoying. You know, maybe it would be prudent to have another storage, another warehouse here. get the wine. Okay. Meanwhile, while we're waiting for that to evolve... Oh, we have a working Colosseum. Okay. Colosseum is now operational. Why is this some entertainment but not enough? Which means the lions are not walking down that way, I guess. Do they make it around the loop? Okay, here comes the lion. That should evolve into a grand insulae. Right? Yes. And look at that. That house there is now evolving as well. No access to a local bathhouse. Surely you do. Employees needed. We hit that. We hit that mark there. <laughs> well, how do I? Could I make things a little bit better? Oh, all of these houses devolved because of no furniture. Huh, that's a bit of a problem. Let's try and move this over. And I think I'll stop setting this to getting food, and I'll set this to empty the warehouse. And instead, I'll put a warehouse here set to getting furniture. We have some stability issues over on this side. Why don't you... Yeah, go empty over to that side, please.
I think we had some food issues over here. That's why. I was wondering why we suddenly had those problems. Now, do we have wine? Oh, finally, yes. Greater health provisions. We need a hospital. You know, I think I can get rid of that school. Really, the library is not passing there? Desirability. Let's put a large statue right there. That should solve that problem. Okay. So we've got villas. We have got villas. Now oh, there we go. Second, yeah, that's just waiting for resources. So, hospital. Now I'm a little concerned about employment. Can we cut back on anything? Let's cut back on a farm there. Let's cut back on two farms there. Oh, this... That needs another farm. Okay, the markets still have food. How did we suddenly run out of all of the food here? I don't understand. Fifteen weapons? I think we also stop exporting wine. Actually, no, we can keep exporting wine. It's actually not an issue. Now, I don't want to boost our population too much, so... I'd rather sort of... cut back on things, rather than boost our population from here on out. We probably don't need that. Yeah. All the towers here are useful. You can stop getting wine. Okay, I'm a little concerned about that, but that should be okay. How's our employment shot? By 10, we should be able to go ahead and get a hospital going. Which, I don't know if I can pull off putting it here. Maybe I'll put it here instead. That is 30 people, though. That's, uh... Hmm. We do need to set this to getting. Check my prosperity. Prosperity will, is not really what I'm going for. I'm going for palaces. That, that's the thing. Is it really all the fruit farms that are that are taking up all of my employment? Because that's uh, a little annoying. What can I cut back on? Well, we don't need a military academy right now, do we? We'll rebuild it if we need it. Yeah, we'll clear that off for now. Just to make sure things continue to run as intended. Alright, this mission is running a little longer than usual, so we're going to be going into part 4 of Damascus after this. The palatial pistol will be developed, but we just need a little bit more time. So if you'd like to go see part 4 of Damascus, click the button on the screen right now and I'll take you to it. And I hope you're enjoying weapon blocks so far. That Frostmourne is giving us some trouble. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.